rub the balloon on your head, or a wool sweater or your dog or something else fuzzy, so that it is good and loaded up with electrons. Hold the balloon a couple of inches above the pepper and watch what happens. You should see the pepper jump off the plate and onto the balloon leaving behind. Static electricity occurs when two materials, such as hair and plastic, are rubbed together, or repeatedly put together and separated. This movement trips electrons off one material and moves them to the other. This creates an electric charge in both materials, one receives extra electrons and becomes negatively charged, whereas the other loses electrons and thus is positively charged. Opposing electric charges, plus and minus, attract each other whereas identical charges, minus and minus, or plus and plus, repel each other. This fact explains why the hair is attracted to the balloon after rubbing, the balloon rips electrons from the hair. Rubber is generally negatively charged and attracts the now positively charged hair. But why do small objects, that have no net electrical charge, like salt and pepper grains, attract to the balloon? Well. This happens because they can be electrically polarized. When you put an electrically charged rubber balloon next to another material, the other becomes electrically polarized. The electrons move according to the force applied by the charged balloon. If the balloon is negatively charged, the electrons in the material are repelled. The part closer to the balloon is slightly poorer in electrons and is slightly positively charged, although the total net charge of the material is still zero.